Hey, and welcome to this video on Scrapply and Genie parsing. Within this video, we're gonna show you how to connect to a device using Scrapply, run a command, and then parse that raw data back from that command through a Genie parsing template. Now, for those of you that are new to Scrapply, Scrapply is a tool for interacting with devices via Telnet or SSH. You can think of it in the same light as tools such as NetMiko, but it does provide some additional flexibility, things such as being able to define what the underlying transport library that you use to connect to the devices. Also provides support for things such as async IO, and it also provides a whole ton of other features which are outside the scope of this video. So to install Scrapply, first do a simple pip install like so. Now I've already got this installed, so I don't need to install that. So if we jump into Python now, we do a couple of imports which aren't relevant to Scrapply, but that we need. The main Scrapply import that we need is going to be this one. So from Scrapply, import Scrapply. And now we're defining different values for our device via this dictionary. So our username and password, and also the platform uh, type. We can use the Scrapply context manager to connect to the device. And within this block, we can run the following. As part of this context manager, as we've run this, and with this with block, we've created the connection. We've then run this command here. So we've used this send command method off the um, connection object, and we've run this command. And as part of exiting this with block, we've then closed the connection. Now there is another video on the YouTube channel around context managers. So feel free to check that out. Now, now we've got this, we've got our response object. Now, if we look at our response object, and we look at the result that we've got back from the device, we can see that it's just text. So if we print this in a slightly better way, like so, so we've got the response back there, which is all well and good. So if you want to now get this and parse this through the, the necessary template, what we can do is off the response, we can use the following method. If we print this like so, you can see now we've got the data back as a structured dictionary. So good stuff. And that wraps up this video. So I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you in some of the other videos on the Packet Coders YouTube channel. Thanks. Bye.